Hello guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new around here then my name is London Hustle and you might recognise where we are today. One of the most dangerous voted cities in the UK and that is Coventry. Now we've been here before in videos but when I was here in the past we didn't do too well with orders and a lot of you in the comments were telling me to come back here at night. Coming to one of the UK's most dangerous cities at night would make quite an interesting video. So here we are. Also big shout out to 10 Ways for letting me ride their bike today. This is the 10 Ways CGO 800S and this bike is jam packed full of features which I'll tell you about later on in today's video. But for now, let's go get ourselves a order. We're getting ourselves our first order come in from Wagamama's. That is very far away though. It's paying £5.42. Could we do that to start off the video? I mean, look how many drivers are stood right in front of me. Go on, let's do it. Let's start off the video strong with a Wagamama's order. So the time is currently 25 minutes past five. They've probably got about half an hour until dinner time actually starts, which is why I think there's a lot of riders just sitting around right now. So we got quite lucky to get ourselves an order. Let's go pick it up. Hi mate, you're right, 2598. Cheers mate, thank you. So something pretty cool about this bike is look when we power it on right now it then requires you to input a password to be able to turn it on which is amazing for deliveries because if i go into a restaurant and i'm picking up an order it's only going to take me a couple minutes and i don't need to faff around locking up the bike obviously you should probably lock up the bike but when you can see it from the window you don't really want to spend all that time locking it up and by having a password on there it means no one else can turn it on and right away i mean even if you're not doing deliveries and you're just Stop in to get yourself a coffee. It's just a really nice feature to have. So our first customer of this evening is 3.7 miles away. It's going to take us about 20 minutes, which is not too bad actually, considering this is paying over £5. Pound, I'm pretty happy with that. It's quite dead right now. So we'll be able to get this dropped off and head back for the dinner time rush to start. Let's go. customer lives at the top of the hill which is pretty fun i'm very happy we've got a bit of electric behind us hi are you right do you have the code please 96 thank you there you are enjoy Ooh. you got it have a good evening all right first delivery in coventry complete oh and look at this the map's now gone green which means there's a multiplier on it's only a 1.1 times multiplier but it's better than nothing i am so far from the city center whenever i don't know where i am I just go straight to Google and search for McDonald's and then try zoom into the one that looks like it's in the center, which is here. 20 minutes is going to tell me. Now, when I told you guys earlier, 20 minutes, oh, that's not too bad. I'm used to 20 minutes in London and 20 minutes in London is nothing. It's a few streets, a few corners and you're there. 20 minutes in another city like this, it's very far. It is very far, but it was a really fun ride over here. I mean, we're absolutely flying right now down here. Tenway's bikes are so light. It's like riding on a feather. Something that's pretty cool about this model is the screen on here. I've never seen a screen like this before. This screen is actually integrated into the handlebar system. So you don't attach it separately. It's actually part of it. And you can do so many things with it. Tenway's has an app which you can use as GPS. Obviously, I'm a delivery driver, so I need to have my phone on here for when orders pop up. But if I was just going to the shops or going to meet a friend and I needed to get somewhere and have GPS up, you can sync it up to the bike. So you don't need to worry about having your phone mounted on the handlebars. It will show you the GPS on this screen, which is incredible. I've never experienced an e-bike that can do that. And I think it's genius. Like, why would you not have that in the screen on an e-bike? Another order come through, but that looks really far as well. And it's away from the city center. So I'm gonna reject that one. It's now gone up to a 1.3 times multiplier as well, which is quite nice. That basically means we're gonna get paid 30% extra than we usually would. Huge order coming through, eight pound 86. But that distance is crazy. That's more of a moped order. Don't really wanna be doing that on a bike, especially when we're on a 1.3 times multiplier. This is where those short orders, you can make a lot of money. Well, Coventry definitely feels a little bit sketchier at night. From Wagamama's for 377. However, for that distance, I would definitely be expecting more while we're on a 1.3 times multiplier. So I'm gonna decline it in hopes of something a little bit better. My God, look at this now. <laughs> 6 pound 46, but the distance is too far for me. I don't think that's worth it at that distance. Man, it's a shame, but it's a positive sign that a lot of orders are coming through and it's only just hit six o'clock as well. So we can afford to be picky when it's this busy. 
again, look at this, £7.54 this time. Let's take a closer look at this order. This one might be worth it. Are they both picking up from the same place? I believe they are. Right, let's do it. And it's only down the road as well. We're picking up from Outfry, which is a Korean fried chicken place. Oh, it's only one order now. That's a little bit concerning. Hi, mate, you right? I've got 9178. Five minutes. About five minutes. No worries. We'll wait for this one. It's a decent paying order. And while we're waiting, we can take a little look at the bike. Excuse that it's a little bit muddy after that first order we did, but this thing is beautiful. They sent me out the blue colorway. And one of the things I love about Tanway's bikes is the very few welding spots. You can see this whole frame here is one solid piece of metal, which is very rare to see on bikes. They have put so much thought and design into this. Now this company originates out of Amsterdam, I believe in the Netherlands, and they are known for their bikes. So I wouldn't expect anything less from these guys. They seem to have upgraded the pedals here. There's like, a, I don't really know how else to describe it, but grip tape. It's like grip tape you get on a skateboard in the middle, which gives you a bit more traction. You can tell there's a lot of attention and detail into this bike. Yeah, that's me. There we go. Thank you, mate. Right, I'm picking up. Oh, is this Franzo's as well? Yeah. It is, yeah, okay. 318. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you. Have a good night. Right, that makes so much sense now. So what's happened there is that, that restaurant essentially operates multiple different restaurants, kind of like how a ghost kitchen works. So there'll be four, five, six different companies all operating out of that one kitchen. Usually when that's the case, it's all very similar food, but each restaurant will just call them different names. But that was good news for me because both the orders are from the same place and we didn't have to wait too long. It's about six, seven minutes in total, but it is a nice pay and order. And the first customer is only six minutes away. Now it is a little bit sketchy, riding in a new city at night especially when i don't really know where i'm going so this bike has a 250 watt motor on the back now, i forgot the brand name of the actual motor i'll put it up on screen now it's a brand i'm not very familiar with but looking at the back wheel the motor is very small and i'm guessing that's how they've managed to cut a lot of the weight by going with this brand now the battery on this bike is 36 volts 10.4 amp hours which is quite a small battery they claim this bike can do up to 100 kilometers in range but i do have my doubts with that i mean you'd have to be in the most perfect circumstances and a very light rider to achieve those type of numbers and i'd also be riding in the lowest setting which is pedal assist level one i'd say if you are going to use this bike to work and do things like deliveries it's probably best to get two batteries so you can swap between while you're out riding, you can have the other one on charge. This battery sits here in the down tube and is very easy to take on and off with a key. But if you're just doing light rides or commuting to work, then I think just one battery would be sufficient. Oh, amazing guys, look at this. We've got a two pound tip on this order. Hey, are you right? Yeah, right. Oh, there you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you have the code, please? Eight, nine. Thank you so much. Thank you for the Bye. tip, by the way. Thank you. Bye. Over nine pound for this order. And the second customer is only 13 minutes away. So all in all, it's probably going to take me less than 20 minutes to get to the customers. We probably waited about seven minutes at the restaurant. £10 for about half an hour's work. I'm very happy with that. Get some speed down here. So this bike is limited to 15.5 miles an hour with the motor engaged. However, you can use your own leg power to get beyond that. Right now, we just got up to 22 miles an hour. The bike is so light that if you just put in a little bit of effort, you absolutely fly, which is so nice, so refreshing. A lot of the e-bikes that I try out are usually quite heavy, and my legs are loving this right now. Hi mate, you're right. There you are. Do you have the code please? 68. Awesome, thank you. Have a good night. Oh, what a pleasant chap he was. That was a lovely little order there. We got a tip on the first one and a very pleasant customer on the second. If you go ahead and check out earnings, we're now up to £14.96. The time has just hit half six. When I was riding here, we went past a little shopping centre. I saw a McDonald's, a Subway and a couple of other places, I think. So I'm going to head back in that direction. Fingers crossed we'll get an order from one of them. The standard suite sensor, which looks about five minutes away from me. But then we're going to have to go back the opposite way. That distance for just five pounds doesn't seem worth it right now, especially when you consider we're in the middle of dinner time and there's a multiplier on. I think we can do a little bit better than that. Ooh, look at this. We're getting another order come through from Nando 773. Where is this going? The first customer is relatively close, but oh my God, that second customer. Where's that Bedworth? I'm pretty sure Bedworth is a completely different city. Do I want to do that? I'm going to do it just for the video. 
to see if it's worth it. I'm not sure that it is. Let's go find out. Hi mate, you're right. Got right. two orders. Uh, both of them aren't ready yet. Do you so know how long they're, they're going to be roughly? Probably about five minutes. Maybe. Yeah, okay, no worries. Five minutes. Is that worth waiting for? I'm not so sure. Let's see what they've gone for. The first customer's gone for a double chicken wrap with peri salted chips and corn on the cob. And then they've also gone for a double chicken wrap but on its own. And the second customer has gone for, oh, this is a good order. I rate this customer. Halloumi sticks with dip, a butterfly burger with peri salted chips and garlic bread. And then they've also gone for a butterfly burger with a peri salted chips and a garlic bread. So two of those, that's a very nice order. I need one. to scan the... Thing. I thought you put it on the front of the bag. Uh, 1119 first. Oh, no worries. Sorry mate, this thing's a nightmare. <laughs> it's all good mate. Doesn't want to do it. Um, go for the one Which with one? The that one there, is it? Yeah, boy. There we go, thank you. Got you again. Got there in the end. <laughs> thank you mate. Safe, See ya. Oh, we got there in the end. That whole scanning system proved to be a little bit difficult there because I was trying to scan just the number instead of the number that had the hashtag with it. Every day is a school day though. I learned something new there. But it's a little bit of a faff if you've got two orders because when you go to scan, it tells you which one it wants you to do first. You can't just choose yourself. I can imagine when things get quite busy that that's going to be a bit of a nightmare. But the guy who worked there was sound. Now we've got to make our way to the first customer who's just seven minutes away. This is the nice one. The second customer looks like they are very far. All right, let's go get it delivered. It's Coventry City Stadium. We went past here last time, but it looks a lot different at night. It looks a lot more eerie. It is a huge stadium though. It's pretty cool coming to different cities though and getting to see all the different areas. I know we've come to Coventry before, but driving during the day compared to at night is like yin and yang. It's, it's polar opposites. God, where on earth is this taking me? This looks so dark down here. You guys probably aren't really going to see much on the camera. Oh, I don't like the fact that the delivery is down here. We're in the, one of the UK's most dangerous cities right now. In a very dark, secluded road. Okay, here we go. We're getting around some houses now. Customer's quite close as well, so I'm guessing it's going to be one of these. Hi, right, mate, you're right. 59. Thank you so much. Well, mate, Enjoy your food. You too. See ya. Oh, he was a pretty happy chap, wasn't he? Came to the door in his boxes. All right, how far is this next customer? Woohoo! The furthest one of the night, 4.2 miles. I'm saying it's only going to take 22 minutes, which is, I believe, the same time it took to do that first order. But we did have to drive for a park and a lot of little roads. <laughs> on that last order which slowed us down so I'm guessing this is going to be a lot of open roads which will be quite nice exactly what this bike was designed for we're delivering from one city to another city which some, which is something I have never done before it is so quiet around here though I think I'm just so used to London where it doesn't matter what time it is there's always someone about that's very strange to see streets like this that just deserted and it's not even that late it's only just gone seven o'clock but I guess in smaller towns and cities as soon as you get past six when people have gone home from work there's not really much of a reason for them to come back out so it stays quiet well look we're going around the back side of the stadium here oh, there's a casino there as well a casino in the stadium and a hotel oh my god the stadium has it all is that a bar over there as well i think it is to be fair commentary stadium is absolutely massive all right where are we going it wants me to go down here oh this looks very dark i'm not sure i'm a fan of this Right, this looks very sketchy. we buy some sort of warehouse here. Where am I going? Wait, it wants me to go. Are you kidding me? Oh, I gotta go up some stairs. I've been raving on about it all video, how light it is. <laughs> and this is the exact scenario where that is very useful. Oh my God, look how dark this bridge is. This does not look safe. This is how a horror movie starts, isn't it? What a great idea for a horror movie, by the way. Delivery driver on his way to a delivery and then gets murdered along the way my god where are we going what is this no that is is that a forest oh this does not look safe this is so sketchy i can hardly see a thing thank you mate okay we're on a canal but it's very hard to see even with the lights on the last thing i'd want is to fall into a canal and looking at the map oh my god we are following this canal for quite some time guys if you are enjoying this video so far then please drop a like down below if you've not already hit that subscribe button i seem to always get myself in some type of predicament and come into a new city okay so i've come off the canal and i think i've found an alternative route to get up to bedworth it looks like it's 
one pretty continuous road all the way but i don't want to be driving down a pitch black canal and i'm not familiar with the area so they're going to go this way instead oh it's actually saying this we're going to be about the similar time which is good news for me this is exactly what this bike was designed for riding on the roads like this let's go get it delivered Hi, oh, yeah, you're right. There you are. Yeah. You're welcome. Do you have the code, please? 57. Thank you. Have a good night. Wow, what a journey that was to get to that customer. That was so far away. But we got the order dropped off, which is the main thing. And we are now up to £22.69. We are running low on battery on the bike right now. I only started with about 70% because I obviously had to drive from my place in London to the train station and then from the train station to my hotel and then I started delivering. So. We didn't start at 100% and my hotel is all the way back in Coventry so I'm gonna have to do that journey all the way back. Unless I get an order come through that takes me back towards my hotel then that is gonna be it for deliveries in today's video. 